that we can every meet, that we can get to talk to each other. Yung binigay niya yung Facebook ko sa kanya, doon kami nag-umpisa. Nag-umpisa kami uh, November 17, 2019. Then, January 26, 2020, nagpunta siya sa Hong Kong para imit ako. Really, for my part of the world, one of the amazing things that I saw in this young woman is she had decided to leave her country and to go make her income somewhere else so she can ensure that her mother has a comfort of life, which she wouldn't have if she was working for her. And I found that like very impressive. And that really got me connected to this person. Kami 
napaka-supportive niya sa lahat ng activities na ginagawa ko, na nasaw ko, sinusupport niya niya. When the sky is falling, and a few months after we started to meet, seeing which changed, I went to Hong Kong to to meet her for the first time in 2020, and that was such such a great experience meeting this beautiful young woman. Uh, January 28, nagulat ako binigay binigyan niya ako ng ting ting na sukol na siya. Lalo sa Tawasan 20 September sa Hong Kong sa ang kasal kaso dahil sa COVID hindi na tuloy ang postpone hanggang umabot sa ito, 2023, three years na kami dito sa Pinas talaga nangyari. Ayun. I love you so much my sweetheart and I'm going to be I've grown to be so attached to you and so attached to what you are. And I've been learning to discover this culture which is very far away from mine. But it just made me love you just so much more. Choose you.